All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome to your Daily Dose of Awesome, your live 15 minutes a day, motivation, inspiration, and education so you can get your day started right. Today's topic, again, a little controversial, but I think you'll see what I mean with regards to does it does your success or will your success come at the expense of others? And does the success of other people that you see on TV or on stage at your company or wherever does it, that success come at, at the at your expense or other people's expense? Well, the answer that I'm going to give you might, might surprise you because automatically, as people that think abundantly, we're going to default to no, of course not. You know, my success is not going to come at the expense of others. Uh, but does it, you know, I want you to think a little deeper about that that idea. And I'm going to share a story uh, of some news I got recently from an old upline. Um, who, who I, you know, on and off, uh, you know, keep in touch with, but, uh, interesting thing with, with this upline who's been basically trying to, uh, make it in network marketing with a specific company and, uh, and something recently happened, which got me thinking about, uh, th this idea. Now, before we get started, uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Franny Sabaz. I'm a lead generation online marketing expert specializing in helping home business owners. That's network marketers, affiliate marketers, direct sellers, multiply their incomes using the internet. I built my first six-figure network marketing business within a couple of years uh, with discovering the information we teach here at Elite Marketing Pro. And over the past 10 years, I've been responsible for over $13 million in gross income into my home businesses and have helped our clients produce hundreds of millions of dollars more collectively in their businesses as well. So what we do and teach works, uh, and we are experts at helping people take their direct selling business online. And so it behooves you to actually uh, be following us and more importantly subscribe to these lives we deliver our most impactful uh, daily training through uh, these lives absolutely free all you have to do is subscribe so uh, one you have to follow us on Facebook so it's very easy to do this if you're on your mobile device on the actual mobile device uh, when you're watching this video click on the video and a little menu will pop up in the top right corner click on the ellipsis symbol that'll open up a panel that will allow you to turn on live, turn on uh, not only turn on notifications, but follow us on Facebook. Turn on notifications so that you get a little ping on your phone every time we go live. We do this Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. We bring on six, seven, and eight-figure guests. Uh, I do training. Our team does the training, and it's all completely free and hopefully offers you value and insight as to how you can further accelerate the growth of your 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 home business uh, using digital marketing strategies. Now, uh, if you're watching this on, on desktop, same thing, although you basically right above this video on your news feed, you click on our logo, that'll take you to our fan page, like our page, and then under the following button right next to that, uh, click on that and make sure to turn on live notifications so that you get notified, a little ping on your computer every time we go live, so you did, don't miss out on anything, and you can actually watch the recording later if you can't join us live, but at least you have that little reminder that you can just click on and not have to search through your news feed or, or Facebook or anything else. So with that said, let me see if we are actually on. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to start over again. <laughs> let me see. All right, there we are. We on? What is up? Hello, Brandy. Hello, uh, Julie, I'm Tiffany, Joy. Start over again. Awesome. <laughs> let me see. I just adjust the volume there. All right, let's hop right into this. So. Uh, so I want to share a story. So I got involved in network marketing in uh, 2005, and uh, and basically the lead, I guess the leader of our little group, um, when I first got started, an upline, it was a few levels up, and uh, he had an engineering background like I did. He had a triple major at a Caltech, uh, very very smart dude. Uh, he did lack you know personal skills. He he lacked that intuition for. You know, knowing how people are, you know, just he, he didn't have a good EQ, basically. Uh, extremely high IQ, very low EQ. But he was motivated uh, to change his life. Obviously, he didn't want to be working at his job forever. And so that's why he was he was doing this. And so uh, we're at, basically we're involved with the, you know, if you guys can figure it out which company. Uh, I'm going to give it away right now. Uh, involved with the oldest company ever, like literally the oldest company in this industry. and um, and And so... Uh, we got started, and I, I, you know, they still have they have great products. I still consume their products. My mom swears about their vitamins. 
Um, and she, has to, I continually have to order those for her even today, uh, you know, over 10 years later, uh, I continue to order those vitamins. But, uh, obviously with an older company comes a lot of baggage and it's just, and, and, and the baggage comes in many forms. It comes in the form of, uh, just the philosophy of the company itself and how they're used to building. They evolve slowly. I talked, uh, you know, extensively about companies that are not very progressive. This is the least progressive one of all. And, uh, and, and so, you know, uh, you, you guys know, know my story with regards to that. Um, so even though they have great products, you know, old company, old school thinking, uh, and building offline. And so obviously that wasn't going to cut it for me. And I chose to go online and, and choose attraction marketing. And, you know, you guys, hopefully, you know, that story, you know, the rest is history. Uh, and I actually shared a little bit about that. You know, I, I basically uh, nine months after joining that company is when I found, Attraction marketing and and basically this community this system is what I discovered and found and my life changed from that point on and And never look back. I eventually realized that I had to change my vehicle uh, If I wanted to be successful faster and so I chose I left that company uh, Not under any uh, nasty terms with my upline maybe some issues with other people you guys made me know that that story But the bottom line is I left and I moved on to another company had success in that company it made millions of dollars uh, as a result of the internet and the multiple income streams, etc. So that's what we do here at EMP. Uh, so, but this guy, you know, this guy, this former upline who's just, again, high IQ, low EQ, just kept going at it. He didn't give up. Year after year, you know, he was committed to making it work. And, um, and I, you know, after all this time, and he had been in the business, I think, you know, five years if not more year more than than me so he'd almost as of now he's been in the business for 15 years and still got and still getting nowhere until recently when i got uh a text from him saying that they just went silver and when these when i say uh just went silver what that means is that basically uh they've hit the income the the volume level and after that volume level uh, maintains for three months that means they go platinum and that equates to about Sixty seventy thousand dollars if if it's consistent, you know, for twelve months, sixty to seventy thousand dollars in income for the year, big deal. But that's a big milestone, especially with this company that's so hard to build. Um, so after fifteen plus years, this guy who's incredibly intelligent, in my opinion, with a you know in a vehicle that's not going to make things a lot, any easier, uh, but he finally gets there. He finally hits silver. And, you know, this prestigious ranking level, not the highest rank, but just enough where he can say, hey, I've created some success. And, and so it, it got me thinking about all the years, all the time that he had spent, um, you know, trying to build this business. One, if he had been with a different company, would have gotten there faster. Uh, two, obviously, I made some different choices in my career and I got to where I wanted faster income levels. Uh, you know, association, the time freedom that I have, uh, being able to basically make an impact the way I do using internet marketing, using digital marketing strategies. And so uh, it really got me thinking like all that time, was he basically subsidizing all this time that he's working at it and, but not really making progress and all the people that, that he recruited that never did anything did they basically subsidize the success of other people uh, in that organization? And, uh, and, and so if you look at most institutions, you'll notice a hierarchy. And you'll notice a hierarchy in companies. You have the shareholders on top. You have executives. You have managers and employees. Uh, the shareholders and executives basically create a contract with the managers and the employees saying, hey, do, hey guys, uh, we're going to pay you less, but we're going to give you a level of security so you don't have to worry about you know, your income fluctuating and you don't have to worry too much about performance. Yet you, you get this job, you don't have these responsibilities of, of running the company and, and, and taking on that risk, but we're going to get, we're going to make more. So we're going to make way more money than you are, but you get to, you know, have this security. So that's the, the, the contract. Uh, and so if you, you notice that the hierarchy is, is similar in most situations, you have in network marketing organizations, you have, uh, obviously the people that have, have built uh, a massive business and they have a large organization. And then you have all the reps under them at the bottom, especially who are either brand new 
or around the company but aren't doing anything and everybody in between are those people subsidizing the success of of their upline uh you know you even have religious institutions or uh in buddhism you have the big wheel and the small wheel and the small you know the big wheel was created basically what the big wheel means is how do we grow our religion uh in a way where where we can grow where we can get revenue in and so they, they you know the Buddhism has, you know, very, you know, strict, uh, I guess, guidelines as to how they live uh, if you want to reach enlightenment. But they also needed to know that they need to survive an institution. So they created the big wheel, meaning, hey, let's get more people in and create uh, a basic low level set of standards so that they can be a part of our religion and give us money. Basically, that's what it is. Uh, you have in Catholicism, you have the dogma that was created for the masses so that you can have a massive religion essentially a billion people in the world however then you have uh organizations within the organizations of people who are more committed uh you have opus day for lay people and obviously you have clergy uh are those are are the people that are basically just going to church on sunday and then forgetting about it until the next sunday are those people subsidizing the basically philosophical growth and 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 spiritual growth uh of those above them uh are tr in training companies now Let's say, for example, who you know, if you if you purchase a course online, you know, drop me a number one right now. If you've purchased any course online, drop me a number one. And if you've with that course, it with if you've ever purchased a course and never and didn't take action, you kind of just maybe you just went through part of it or all of it, but you didn't find the time for whatever reason to, to take action on that. You know, be honest. If you ever done it, drop me a number two. I've done that. I've purchased a course that I didn't take action on that. And my point here is with a, with a training company, even with a training company where you're buying a product, like with uh, Elite Marketing Pro, those that take, th there are those who take massive action with those training products, and there are those who choose to chase shiny objects and continue buying there, 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 there. And, and they keep buying all this stuff, and then only a minority, only a small, tiny minority will ever take the massive action required, and an even smaller minority will never give up towards achieving the results they want. Um, if you look at everything I've described, you'll notice that basically in every situation, the masses will always subsidize the few. The few people who are actually making the most of that opportunity, whether it's spiritual, whether it's at an, an employment opportunity, whether it's network marketing, whether it's uh, basically how does a training company stay afloat? We need a lot, obviously we want to sell as many trainings or memberships as possible and that revenue for the company, but it's all actually happening to support those few who take massive action. And uh, the, the, so the, the, the question for you right now, and I'll ask you a question, do you want to be doing the subsidizing or do you want to be the one that takes, the, takes advantage of that opportunity? If you want to be, the sub, if you want to be subsidizing Drop me a number three, or if you want to be the one that takes massive action of that opportunity, drop me a number four. You choose right now which one, and I'll walk you through what's, what needs to happen next in order for you to take full advantage of the opportunity. So three, I'm going to choose to subsidize. Four, uh, I'm going to choose to take advantage of the opportunities that are before me. Obviously, I think most of you will hopefully say four, but but the, the reality is most of you right now are are... are you know, unknowingly choosing three. You're not taking full advantage of the opportunity you have. You're choosing four right now, but really what's happening is three. Um, and it's always a choice, whether you choose to be the one subsidizing the success of others. Like, I, let's say I sell a course for $100. Uh, I sell 100,000 copies, but only 2% of those people ever do anything with it at any significant level. The 98% subsidize the success of those 2%. That's what happens in every situation. You buy a book. Uh, how many books have you purchased that show, you know, that that are stay on the shelf? And how many uh, of those people that actually get that book read it? Now, maybe you're a reader, or maybe you're the person that puts it on the shelf and adds it to their collection and never reads it. But if you bought the book and put it on the shelf without ever reading it, you just subsidize the the growth of somebody else who chose to read, to read it. And that's just the way the world works. 
And so, but it, and it's always going to be a choice whether you it's in network marketing, whether even in your company, if you want to be an executive uh, and 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 uh, and, a, and you know go up the rank, you're going to have to perform at a different level than just the regular employee, and that's just a fact. Um, and for some develop, and and so the the way that happens is 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 well, how I'm going to describe right now. So for everybody, developing a skill is going to take time for you to be able to achieve the results you want to achieve. Spiritually, financially, uh, in your in your job, whatever, uh, or, or as a as a student uh, within a membership or a training company like Elite Marketing Pro, the development of the skill is going to take time. Some more for others, but eventually you'll get there if you're committed enough. So uh, I was telling the story of, of, of my friend. Uh, he lacked EQ, but he chose never to give up in this you know really old company where it's really it has a lot of baggage. Yet he chose to never give up. So obviously, he, he over time he developed a skill which overcame his, his lack of EQ, and he's finally achieving a level of success in his company after 15 years of slogging away at it. And, and so now, the, but there are thing, there are factors that he could have, uh, you know, considered as part of his journey in order to get to that success level much faster. Now, but he he was with, a, in my opinion, a shitty vehicle, but. He eventually got there. He eventually got there, and, and so he chose to... Basically, the choice he made is, I'm never giving up. And he had to develop the, his skill level at such a high level to overcome all the obstacles in front of him, that. Uh, but he chose to never give up. So the success for some will be longer for others, but you will eventually get there if you're fully committed. Where we trip up has to do... Where most people trip up, unlike my friend, uh, uh, in, in some cases, so where most people trip up... Uh, we procrastinate. We uh, big one is we lack belief. Uh, whether you admit it or not, those of you who are not achieving the success you want to achieve are lacking belief. If you right now, if if you if you honestly ask me right now, if you've ever had struggle with belief with regards to your 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 company, uh, or just whether you can actually uh, succeed in network marketing, maybe not your company. If you ever struggled with believing whether you can succeed in network marketing, be honest, please. Uh, drop me a number five. If you ever struggled with belief in in what you're doing, drop me a number five. Uh, and again, I've struggled with with belief as well whether I can really do this or not. But we but those are the things that trip us up. We procrastinate, and the reason we procrastinate is because we lack belief, and and we lack motivation. The reason we lack motivation is because either we're not enough in, in enough pain to motivate us to to move. Or we're lacking the belief that we can do it. So uh, those are the things you're going to need to work on. Whether you're part and and part of having the right belief is one: do you have the right strategy? So you guys in Elite Marketing Pro are involved in something extreme, very very special that that can make a huge impact in your life with regards to the skill sets you're going to be uh, learning for the future. But also, are you with the right vehicle? My friend could have probably gotten to where he's at a lot faster. Uh, if he was with a different vehicle, in my opinion, but he got there. But so, but the problem with him and the problem with the, many of us is that we have something called confirmation bias, where we automatically want to believe that the choices we've made so far are the right ones. We automatically want to believe that we're with the right company, that 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 God, for a reason, uh, you know, set, put us where we are for a reason, and the reason is because He wants us to build this company or whatever that, that that's the stuff that they uh, talk about. We want to believe that we're with the right political philosophy or political party. And so we have a confirmation bias. So we, we look for evidence around us to support that belief. And anything that contradicts that belief, we just ignore. It's like it like it just bounces off of you and, and, and never gets there. That was with, with my buddy. Uh, being with this company, any information that came in that like, gave him a clue as to whether he was with the right company or not, completely ignored. And only accepted the information that supported his already existing belief. Uh, same thing with religion. Now, I'm not going to get into any, anything uh, controversial, but we all have a con uh, confirmation bias. Consciously, we will justify that we're, we're in the right place or with the right company or, or doing the right things. Uh, so consciously, we'll justify this. But the problem is, subconsciously, we know something's off. Subconsciously, we have a feeling, like a gut feeling that something's not right, and that we're not going down down the right path. And my challenge for you guys, if you're if you're choosing to not be the person that subsidizes 
the success of other people in whatever area of your life, then you got to be really honest with yourself and, and almost honest with yourself at the subconscious level and really think about, um, are you with the right vehicle? Do you really believe in what you're doing? And that's probably going to play into whether you're in the right vehicle. Are you using the right strategies, building online or offline? Uh, you know, is it really, uh, you know, eventually what's going to happen is your subconscious will win out and it's going to get what it wants. If you're with the wrong vehicle, your subconscious is going to win. Uh, if you're, if you're, if you're building in the wrong way, using the wrong strategies, your subconscious is going to win and it's not going to allow you to create success using whatever you're doing because your subconscious is going, no, nah, I don't like this. But consciously confirmation bias is telling us that, that we're going to justify what we're doing because we don't want to be wrong and we don't want to be led to believe that we made the wrong choices at some point in our life. So the the thing is, while you're going to be figuring all this out, know that your money is going to go towards subsidizing somebody else's success. And and, and here's the, the thing, you can't simply stop giving up the money. You can't simply cancel your membership with your company. You can't simply cancel your membership with EMP or whatever uh, guru or, or person you're learning from. You can't simply stop it because that means you quit. That means you you've you've uh, you just stopped your growth right there. So just s stopping giving your money back to, uh, uh, to them and just saying I'm going to keep my money is quitting, and your growth stops and you get nowhere. So you have to actually continue giving the money, uh, and you have to continue giving the effort. And so, otherwise, you stop growing. The thing is, you have to be willing. If you're if you're giving up the money, giving up your resources, giving up your time. You have to be willing to take massive action, uh, considering all the things I just mentioned with regards to your, your, your belief and whether you're in the right vehicle and whether you're in enough pain, you know, to motivate you to be, to, to make the, that choice. But so that's the, my, my lesson for today. Are you going to choose to be subsidizing the success of other people or are you going to be the one that chooses to be the one that gets subsidized and take full advantage of that opportunity? It's, there's no way around it. It's always going to be like that in whatever organization, whatever thing you're doing. You're always going to be either subsidizing or, or being the one that's taking full advantage of the opportunity. And you got to work some of these issues out with regards to your confirmation bias and believing that you're here for a reason and God put you here and, and now you're going to be building this company no matter what and all this stuff. Like, seriously, you know, make some business decisions and analyze whether you truly believe in what you're doing. Uh, analyze whether you have the, you know, the motivation and the discipline to do it, and whether you're in the right vehicle, and using the right strategies. And then only then, once those things align, will your belief be able to calibrate at a level will you be, or you will be able to take massive action. And, and until that happens, you're going to be subsidizing, unfortunately, the success of others. So if you found this helpful, if you if you if you had a, uh, a some moment of insight or naha. Drop me in number six. Let me know that this was powerful for you and and uh, and, and made an impact. I'm going to go through some of the comments right now to, to see where, where people are at. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Uh, Heather, thank you very much. Number five, thank you. Uh, such a great topic. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Uh, Brandy, John. Uh, John says, fear and faith can't occupy the same space. Which is one, which one do we feed? Absolutely. <laughs> Brandy, that's a lot of sixes. Maybe maybe I should have asked for sevens. <laughs> All right. Awesome, guys. Well, I'm so glad that this made an impact. Uh, that, I mean, the, you know, again, the quote, the takeaway out of this entire lesson will be the masses will always subsidize the few. And that's actually, I guess I, I, I kind of created that, 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 uh, that phrase. But the masses will always subsidize the few. And you have a choice. Are you going to be doing the subsidizing? Or are you going to be achieving your dreams? And you can only choose one of them. There is no spectators area for, for this type of choice. You either subsidize or you're going to take full advantage. And there's no, no stopping. Otherwise, your growth stops and you're, going to get, you're, you're getting nowhere. So take care, everybody. Have an awesome day and we'll talk soon. Uh, we'll, we'll be here tomorrow for our next Daily Dose of Awesome. And by the way, if you, know more, if you want to know more about what we do here at Elite Marketing Pro, uh, if someone shared this video with you, which everybody watching this, please uh, share if you found this impactful, if you, if you, uh, if you found this valuable, you, you think somebody you know can benefit from this message, share this video and uh, you, use your link. Uh, and if you're watching this video and you want to learn more about what we do here at Elite Marketing Pro for building businesses using the internet, 
Uh, either click on the link in the description if someone shared this with you, or go to EliteMarketingPro.com, download our Attraction Marketing Bootcamp. It's an online recruiting course, absolutely free, over the course of 10 days, which will show you how it is you can take your business online using the right strategy. And I believe when using the right strategy, your belief will go up and your results will go up as well. So take care, everybody. Have an awesome day.